This is serious. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to show you guys step by step how I am able to make $250 a day trading the stock market. So but before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and your notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So um, I've been posting on my YouTube uh, post uh, telling you guys how I'm able to make $250 a day. Um, some days I make, you know, 300, 400, 800, uh, and some days I make like 150. So when I do the average uh, on a monthly base, I make about 250 and that's my goal. Um, the objective is not to try to be greedy, but just to take advantage of what's given to me because greed is what would get you into trouble, would make you lose money in the stock market. So if I go in and I'm making $50 um, in less than two minutes or three minutes, that's good money for me and I'll take that and put it in my pocket. I don't want to sit there and hope to make a thousand dollars. So that's the way I do approach it. So I just want to caution that. So um, before we get into the step by step, just I want to lay the groundwork here. So what we're going to look at today is we're going to look at the platform that I use. Um, if you already know, I use Weibo for trading uh, the stock market. Um, so right now, Weibo has a promotion where if you sign up, you get two free stocks, one value between two dollars and two hundred and fifty dollars, and the second one. Um, uh, between 12 and 1400 dollars so um, if you want to try Weibo I'm gonna put the links in the description below you can definitely go try them and um, so where do I find the stocks that I trade I'm gonna show that here again I use Weibo to find the stocks that I trade and this is one of the key reasons why I left Robinhood to come to Weibo so I'm gonna show you how I go about choosing what stocks I trade for the day and again uh, just a disclaimer here right? what I'm gonna show you guys is I mean you can copy it um, and try it, it there's no guarantee that this is gonna work for you. This is my proven strategy. It's worked for me and I actually put in work over, over over the few months to really study the market, understand what I'm doing before I'm able to get this number. So um, you can definitely practice as well, but there's, you, you, can't, you don't have to practice with real money. You can use uh, paper trading, which I've actually done a video about that here on the channel. You can do that in Weibo. I'm gonna hook it up here so you can definitely go try it. Practice with uh, fake money, paper trading, so that you can that can like really hunt down on your own skills. And then, um, so once I find the stocks that I want to trade and then um, I go to the Weibo trading uh, web app because I want to use it on my big screen so I can see exactly what I'm doing there. Once I go in there, I have different things that I look at in before I place my trade. So let's actually jump on the computer and definitely go through step by step how I go about trading each morning when I come down to my office and sit down on my desk. This is how I go about making $250 a day. So Let's go check it out. This is again, this is the Weibo app. So you go on the market, uh, as you can see here, it tells you what's happening. So right now, um, I'm actually recording this video um, after hours. So um, this is not early morning. I'm gonna try to do a live, um, record a live trade or what I'm doing early in the morning so you guys can see too, but this is after hours. But So I come here in the morning and I wanna scroll down to where it says top gainers for the day. So this is what I'm looking at that early morning. So I click on top gainers and this comes up. And so what, I, what I'm looking for is um, just number one is I'm looking for volume on the stock. I'm looking for percentage change. Um, and then um, so the, normally the ones that I really care about would be like the top two or top three. So if the if the percentage change is over a hundred percent, that stock would interest me. I'll I'll take a look at that. Um, if the volume you know has high volume, that would interest me because the percentage change can be high, but the volume is low. It means that um, that would be a risky stock to trade because if you have low volume, for you to go in and out, if there's not a ton of volume, you can put in an order, say a thousand shares, and you only get fill maybe about 200 or 300 shares at the price, the limit price that you want it. Or you same, likewise, you can put an order that you wanna sell a thousand shares, and you, your limit order, you only get filled maybe three or 400 at that limit price, and then the price drops without you getting filled at, um, at the price that you want. So I try to make sure there's enough volume going around so that I know that when I place my order, that order would be filled exactly at the time that I wanted that order to be filled. So once I, I have these top gainers 
year, like I said, I usually look at like the top three or top four. Um, then, and so even throughout throughout the morning, I'm gonna come back here and refresh this because you can see some stocks down here that um, don't really meet my criteria. But as soon as the market opens, they would get they will get the percentage change, they'll get the volume, um, and then they'll move up uh, right up here. And so that way, I want to make sure I keep my eye on. And then I also try to not trade stocks that are super expensive. Um, I try to trade stocks that are. Uh, let's say from a dollar all the way up to ten dollars and sometimes to twenty dollars depending on how strong the stock is but the higher stocks i don't want to trade those a lot because um it, once you go in those can jump from one to three dollars or three to one dollar so so you can lose a dollar or two dollars just like that uh whereas the, the stocks under ten dollars they usually move in like you know cents so it can, you can lose 20 cents 30 cents which is what i like so it, it does minimize my loss that's just my approach it doesn't mean that what i'm doing here uh it, it would be exactly what would work for you so you find what works for you some people trade differently i look at these high gappers in the morning and that's what i trade so once i identify what i want and the stocks that i like um the next step is that i'm going to come up to this window i'm going to click on trade so once you click on trade it's going to open up a separate window which is going to look something like this um and so um under this window i would go to where it says search um, let's say, for instance, if I go back to here and I'm looking for, let's say I'm looking for um, C-A-R-V, um, that's the key symbol. And I go here and I'm going to type C-A-R-V and that's the stock I want to trade. So if I type, I, oh, I type in C-A-R-V and then so usually I would, I would open up the stock. So let's go back here. And so C-A-R-V. Um, so I add that to my watch list. So if you see my list here, it says it's daily, um, daily watch. So I go to my watch list. So that stock shows up here. And then if you click um, on the stock, it loads that stock and this is a chart for that stock. So now I can look at the chart and see what's happening again. Like I said, this is the end of the day. So I'm just gonna walk you guys through how I do trade uh, using the chart. So I look at it and I'm, I, I see what's happening like early in the morning it would be pre-market so the stock would be somewhere right here in this gray zone because this is pre-market so and for those of you that are not uh, used to this when i say pre-market it means that um these are st the stocks that are trading before the market actually opens so um, um webo gives you um what you call extended hours trading it gives you um, after hour trading and it gives you pre-market trading. So pre-market extended hours starts at 3 a.m. Central Time, which is what uh, which is the time zone that I'm on. Um, and then um, pre-market starts at 8 a.m. 8, 8, uh, 8 a.m. to 8.30, that's pre-market. Then the market itself opens at 8.30 Central Time. So pre-market, I would look at the stock. And so if you still look at this particular stock, um, so this is, extended hours until like pre-market and see how it was just gapping up gradually so if you look at look at that line right there that vwap it sees it just keep growing and then um this is as soon as the gray line stops that's where the market opens up so the market opens up and then this particular stock gaps up a little bit and then there's a huge pullback and you just see how it goes i'm going to explain how i do trade um here shortly but that's that's how um, when I have the stocks, I have my list over here under my daily watch. This is the stocks that I'm interested in trading for the day. And then I'll just keep my eye on them. So now I'm looking at, hey, okay, Mr. V, what, at what point do you jump in and take a trade? Um, I look at this yellow line that you see, it's called the VWAP. And VWAP stands for Value Weighted Average Price. So I look at the VWAP and that's one of the indicators that I use. So if you are on the Weibo um, platform and you want to um, show we VWAP on your on your chart you just go to where it says indicators and then check um, check the button that says VWAP and this line would show up on there so the way I go about it is I, I look at VWAP if, if my price is right on the VWAP I'm gonna hold that trade I'm not gonna place a trade I just keep watching it if, if it dips underneath the VWAP um, at that point which is some kind of co uh, uh, consolidation 
I don't trade it. I just hold it. And again, this is my strategy. Some people trade the dip. So as the price goes down, they buy, hoping they would go up. The reason why I don't trade the dip is because um, when you trade the dip, you don't know if that's the bottom. You can buy when it goes low and then it keeps going low. So I don't like that. So I want to see the confirmation. So it goes, it goes down at consolidation. And then when it breaks the VWAP, and then I see confirmation, and that's when I buy. Um, the disadvantage to that strategy is that um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lose some money because for somebody that bought the dip, let's say, but down here, um, they would make more money if the price, if the stock moved back up here, just in this case, up to 222. So you go, if you enter here, I say $15, and then squeeze all the way to 222, you make more money. Whereas for me, I'll get in at about, let's say at about uh, $18, and then it squeezes to 22. So you would make a ton of more money, but your risk increases. Because for me, I'm, buy, I'm buying when it's going up. For you, you buy at the bottom, and you don't know if that's the bottom, it might go down again. So that's my strategy. Again, guys, this is where it works for me. So I don't want somebody to uh, shoot me a text and say, hey, Mr. V, um, that it's not a good strategy. It works for me, I'm able to make my money doing it. So. Um, so that's how pretty much I do it. So like say right here, I'm, I'll be watching this stock. Um, I'm looking at heat right here. I'm looking at, hey, the VWAP, as soon as it breaks the VWAP, and then I look at that confirmation. So you look at the first solid candle right here that shows me I said some sort of confirmation. And then I would, I just get, I go here, I check guys, I choose how many shares I want to buy. Um, and then uh, I choose my limit price. So in this case, I say if I want to buy it at, let's say, $18 a share, I choose my limit price. And then um, for me, I, I could do one of two things. So I, I do, I put a stop loss and I do a, a take profit. And this is a part that saves me from being greedy. So um, if, if, let's say for instance here, I can, I can say I want to lose maybe, I say 17, let's say 1760. Okay, so I want to lose 40 bucks. And, I, and I'm anticipating that this thing will go all the way to, tw to let's say, $20. Okay, so I'm risking $40 to make $200. So to me, that's a good bet, uh, in my opinion. So I'll put that, and then I would place my trade. So you click place trade, um, then the confirmation window will come up. You confirm that, and then as soon as that thing hits your, 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 your entry price, it would buy it. And then, so notice here that um, the price, in this case, when I got in, squeeze up all the way to uh, 19, 20, 21, all the way to 22. So now you're thinking, Mr. V, but you, your, your stop loss is at $20. How, why don't you take the profit if it's going up to 22? I do take the profit and here's how I approach that. So once I go in, I put my stop loss, as soon as this thing breaks, let's say it, it, I go in at $18, it goes up to 19, oh, I'm gonna move my stop loss. So I just edit the, the order and move my stop loss. Now from uh, 1760, I'm gonna move my stop loss to $18. So at that point, if this thing pulled back, I'm gonna break even. So I'm not gonna lose money on this trade. So I move it to 17, then it goes up to 19, and then I move my stop loss to 18. It goes up to 20, I move my stop loss to 19. So that's how I secure profit. And that's the best place to be as a trader. Uh, once you are able to secure profit, which means that no matter how bad this trade goes, you know for sure you're gonna come up on top. So I move it to say 19, it goes up to 21, I move it to 20. And then as soon as I see like it's starting to uh, show some sort of rejection or resistance, and then I can move it closer and take my profit. So I'll just move it and move it to the bottom so that if it drops a little bit, it kicks me out and I take my profit. And so that's how I'm able to secure profit. So in some cases, again, guys, um, you can, I go in, it doesn't go as planned. If I go in and this thing like just get some rejection and then um, starts to pull back, it, it knock me out and I'm out, I'm out $40. But if I didn't have a stop loss, this I, I could be out. It could drop. Like if you see right here on this candle right here, see how quick this thing drops from nineteen dollars. It drops down to fifteen dollars and some change. And um, so you, you, but if you had your stop loss, you say you want to lose just forty bucks, it would kick you out at just forty. So that is how I simply do it. So um, and again, just just a quick recap here. Um, when I go in the morning, I to to get the stocks that I want to trade. I go to I go to market. I look at top gainers, and then I look at the top three. And what I'm looking for is the percentage change and the volume. Again, 
the higher the volume, the better that stock is for me to trade because I know that my orders would be filled. Once I have the stocks, I go to I go to trade. Sorry, I click on trade over here. It opens up this window. I search the stock that I want. I add it to my watch list, which is what I'm going to be trading. So like here, all these this the stocks here are stocks that I have my eye on for the day. So for instance, LMFA. This is a stock that I traded. Um, so if you see right here, as soon as the market opens, um, as soon as the market opened, you see right here, it stays right on the VWAP and then get the confirmation right here and just kind of like break through. So it went from $3 and squeezed all the way to three, almost $4. So I traded this, I traded this right here um, and made some profit. And then look at that pullback. I mean, I could, because I, I, I entered here, I could have waited and, and, and still ride this all the way up here, but this pullback right here, you, there's no guarantee that this would, uh, you know, you get another um, uh, confirmation going back up. So the pullback could have gone all the way south. So it's always good to secure profit instead of hoping that um, you're going to make more money, take the money, some money out of the table. So um, that is how I'm able to make um, at least $250 a day. And again, guys, this is a very risky uh, uh, thing to do. Um, you have to be very smart with what you do. Don't be greedy, be disciplined, have a plan, um, research properly, um, and make sure uh, that you know when to cut your losses and, and walk away. Um, and one final disclaimer here, guys, the stocks that I trade, if I go back here, the stocks that I do trade, these stocks are not stocks that you should buy and hold in your portfolio. These are gappers. So uh, there may be some news or something that is gapping these stocks, is pushing these stocks. So I just go in and take a piece of the pie and get out. I'm, I'm not holding any of, any of these stocks in my portfolio. A, a lot of some of the stocks are Chinese companies and they are known for blowing uh, their stock prices out of proportion. And so if they're blowing it, that's fine. I go in and get my, my own little $250 and I get out and greedy people lose money. So that's pretty much um, the way um, I, I do it. So there you go, guys. That's how I'm able to make $250 a day. You're probably asking yourself like, well, Mr. V, why are you stuck on $250? Uh, my goal is $250. So if I make more, that's good. Um, the idea is that uh, because I have that particular plan, I try to control my greed because I can go in there and it's like, oh, I want to make $1,000. I want to make two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000. And then once you get greedy like that, that's how you end up losing money. And, and, and again, with, with a, a ton of uh, uh, money on the line like that, that's a, a tremendous amount of opportunity for you to make mistakes. And so I try to minimize that. So um, some trades, I will make $50 and I'm very content with that. Then I'll wait again for a right opportunity to go in and so you can see my strategy I go in when the price is going up take my little profit and I get out um, so some people buy in the dip that's not my strategy I don't want to sit there hoping that it goes up but I want to see it catch it when it's going up so I can take my little profit so um, I hope this is very uh, you know, helpful to you guys and again guys this is my strategy I've actually put in work to understand and learn some of the things that I'm doing right here um, if you want to practice there is paper trading that you can use to practice without putting your money on the line. So do that. And again, if you want to try the Weibo app that I use for trading, um, Weibo again is um, doing this promotion where they're giving out two free stocks for anybody that sign up on the platform. So if you want to, I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can get two free stocks, one for just signing up and then another one for just for depositing $100. So you get two free stocks. Um, I think between $2 and $250, that's your first stock. The second one is between 12 and a hundred and fourteen hundred dollars actually um, so definitely give them a shot so question of the day what do you think about my strategy do you think that oh mr. V you could be aggressive and make more money or oh, mr. V $250 is nothing let me know in the comment section and as always guys stay safe and stay motivated